confident and ready for action, the Bulls, as they headed to the locker room earlier on. The hometown crowd certain to give them a warm welcome. 2K Sports presents Thursday night of the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Conley and Edwards are the guards. Concord spots filled by McDaniels and Town. And it's Gobert in at the center position. And for Chicago, Vucevic in at center with Williams next to him. Kobe White is out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Levine in at the three spot. And there's certainly an added challenge, right, Clark, in the second game of a back-to-back. -back. And you always wonder in that case, could fatigue play a role in deciding this game? You know, back-to-backs are hard, but there's no excuses. Everybody has to play them, so you deal with it and make the most of it. Gobert knows his strengths on offense and plays to him well. Let's it go with the three. And there's Levine on the assist by White. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Oh, here's Edwards. Goes to the reverse layup and claps it in. Edwards flexing on them now. Bully ball inside. Levine kicks to Giddy. Williams for three. Outside Levine. Back to Vucevic. It's stolen by Gobert. And now Conley running the floor all by himself. You know, when Rudy Gobert is down low, it strikes fear into the opponent. This is a guy who has led the league in blocks and rebounds at different times. Inside the paint, he is just a nightmare to battle against. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Outside, Edwards. And it's Chicago with the rebound. This their first chance to take a look at the Timberwolves this season. Inside, here's Giddy. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Well, uh, Giddy loves to finish strong inside, and he knows how to take advantage of his size. Kindly, the pass to Gobert. That one's off. He's now one for two. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. I got him, I got him. Giddy against Edwards. Giddy kicks to Vucevic. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, a bit ago, Billy Donovan and I were able to talk, and we talked about the tall task of facing Anthony Edwards. Coach said he is so physical. Ant looks more like a linebacker than a wing. So we can't foul Edwards too much. That's playing right into his hands. So we'll try to play him tight without sending him to the line. Not easy to do. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. McDaniels dishes to Gobert to stop the run. And finished off by Gobert. Uh, okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk. No question. And he should be. I mean, remove all doubt. Get it down, hard, and simple. Here's Gobert. And finished off by Gobert. Well, it's nice to see young guys like McDaniels come onto the floor and make the right play. Williams. And the rejection by Town. And they get it back. That one from long range. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Conley kicks to McDaniels. Back to Conley. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Towns wide open. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got three assists now in this one.
First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Giddy. Levine with it for three. And the Bulls, another three. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. 17 seconds left to play here in the first. Vujovic finds Williams. Here's Levine. The shot comes out. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Wow. We are going to remember that one for a while. I know I will, Greg. That was special. That was really special. A circus dunk for you right there, guys. Now it's been a high-scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. It's the Bulls leading by a point. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Chicago. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers. Spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. They've got Kobe White. Torrey Craig is out there with Smith. Then it's Josh Giddy, and it's Ball in at the point guard. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Craig pulls it in. The Bulls leading, and Clark, the debate around Carl Anthony Towns. Is he the greatest shooting big of all time? Well, look, if you just want to go numbers, it's an emphatic yes. No seven-footer has ever shot it like Cat. Around 40% from three over his career. That's not just a one or two season deal. That's a multi-year career. So I say yes. Ball no good. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Barry's the long-range jumper. Where they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets time out, are from three-point range. And so Chris Finch calls for the timeout. He wants to make some adjustments to the game plan, clearly. making some changes. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Torrey Craig. And Zach Levine subbed in for Lonzo Ball. The Timberwolves also with the sub. Gobert, he's checked in for Towns. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Here's McDaniels. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Mark, you had a chance to defend a lot of great scores in your time in the NBA. Yeah, and I did. It wore me out, too, part. I mean, I think the attitude of those guys stands out. Their relentlessness, the skill level obviously was there, but it was the relentless pursuit of the basketball 
and scoring opportunities. Bernard King, Larry Bird, Alex English, Marcus Johnson was near the tail end of his prime, but he was a problem too. I mean, there were a number of guys in that. Kelly Trapuca. Woo! Yeah, don't make my head spin. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Kevin, thanks. The Timberwolves are now on the same page. Carl Anthony Towns says it's good when you're able to sacrifice to see the results you wanted and share the success. We're all making this happen. This is a team coming together and saying we really want to do something special. Kevin, they're right on the road to doing that. Yeah, well said, David. Carl Anthony Towns is very motivated, definitely. So the Bulls, the last game, a win against Dallas. And, and you got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road, take good shots, and knock them down with confidence. Well, efficiency is critical, and I love how they ran their offense and got quality shots out of their set. Special K, we know the trade for Rudy Gobert took some time to click, but now it's looking like a great move. Well, you know, figuring out how to play two bigs in this day and age with the way the game is played, pretty tricky, a slippery slope. And they stayed with it, to their credit, the Minnesota Timberwolves. And once they got it sorted out, Gobert was a force with his defense and his scoring out of the... One of the things undervalued in Gobert's improvement is the addition of Mike Conley. They've got a tremendous relationship, and I think Mike Conley's presence has been a real asset for Gobert as well. It's up a three. It's hauled in by the ball. Giddy has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's White. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Conley with it. Now defended by Levine. That puts them in the lead. McDaniel's got four this quarter. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Three pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. You know, the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot, not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out shoot out this team. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Trains the three-pointer. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Smith against him. Oh. Oh. Watch out now. Look out below, Edwards, right? Amazing to the Raptors. Giddy against Edwards. Good work there as a... got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Bulls lead by three. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys to take it to them and play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the baskets, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the contact and go to the rim. Tough sledding in there, but you got to get there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Welcome to halftime. First things first, a look ahead at other games on the docket tonight. The Trailblazers will square off against the Spurs in San Antonio. That one gets started at 8 p.m. Eastern time. 
Two of the best in the league in that one. What a measuring stick game. A good chance to see how good your team really is. Getting to that first half of action from Minnesota, they find themselves in the middle of a tight one. You know, I love what they're doing, being patient on offense, getting higher percentage looks, keep feeding the beast. Yeah, some of it's approach, but a lot of it is they have great interior scorers. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And on the floor for Chris Finch as we get into the second half. Edwards on the wing. He's joined by McDaniels. Ah, some big guys down front on the block. Towns and Gobert. And it's Conley in at the point. Yeah, attacking the interior is something White does well. He's crafty, and he makes good adjustments against the defense. Nine feet out. A tenth. but it's good off the front iron. Edwards got eight points. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. For three, Williams, and that comes off the assist by Giddy. And the Bulls lead by four. Outside, Edwards. Conley with the screen on Giddy. Edwards from deep three-point territory. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And Levine, here we go. And the jam by Levine. Levine, a remarkable scorer. And he can help you in a lot of different ways. Showing it all tonight. Greg, this is some kind of note. Last year, Minnesota, had, for just the second time, had ever won a series in the postseason. Yeah, they've been bounced in the first round. 10 of 12 appearances but last year's team was different their elite defense fueled the conference finals run time now to turn to our sideline reporter david aldridge david kevin mike conley's leadership is huge for the wolves rudy gobert says his presence on the court but especially in the locker room is invaluable coach chris finch said he's given us everything and more Conley says, to have this kind of trust from everyone is why I'm here. This is what I'm supposed to do. Kevin? He is a class act. David, thanks. And Giddy gets it to go. And not a guy who takes a ton of threes, but Giddy can knock them down if you let him. To the middle, here's Edwards. Oh, Edwards! And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Oh, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Vucevic against Gobert. Oh, the lob to Gobert, and finished off by Gobert. Gobert is a big target, especially when he's roaming around that rim. Williams for three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. And we've got a timeout call from Chris Finch. He wants to talk to his guys. And let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots in the NBA last year. Fifth, the Timberwolves. They've got a number of guys that can deny you when you take that ball inside. That's why they're one of the best shot blocking teams in the league, at least they were last year, because they worked well together and they made it a priority. 
Conley sets a screen for Edwards. From the line, it's rebounded by Giddy. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Here's Edwards. And it's finished off by Edwards. Well, I tell you what, once Edwards accelerates, I mean, he looks like he's playing at a different speed than those around him. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Shooting foul as the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Well, pr probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Reed comes in for Gobert. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for Edwards. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Stolen by Conley. Back to Alexander Walker. Out to Conley. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. The Bulls leading by five. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Yep, it counts. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. Pass to Towns. Great D that time from Vucevic. And so it's the Chicago Bulls bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Now let's hear what head coach Billy Donovan was reviewing with his team in the huddle. We've done a great job moving the ball. Let's keep the ball moving. Extra pass, attack, pass, and play, okay? Billy Donovan joined the activity his team is showing. The motion of his offense just wants to see more of it. Yeah, they're working together well. The, the key now is to try to do it consistently throughout the rest of this evening. Three points. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Levine and Williams up in the forward position. Josh Giddy is out there with White. And it's Smith in at the five spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Conley, the pass to McDaniels. Off target from three-point range. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And White with the stuff. And at 6'5", White more than capable athletically. Like the aggressiveness there. Conley, the pass to Edwards. Let's it go from deep. And that one falls, coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got his ninth assist in the game now. And the timeout called here by Billy Donovan. Wants to make sure everybody's coordinated and intent. Go Barry's checked in for Minnesota. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle with his team. Now, he told his guys not to get comfortable. He said, so we've got a little breathing room. So what? That's no reason to slow down out there. He wants them to keep the effort up. Guys? Okay, David, thanks. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the board, we're certainly seeing the effort. And the timeout called here by Billy Donovan. And he wants to see some changes out there right away. And right now, Vucevic checked in for Smith. Levine kicks to Vucevic for Gobert. And it's Vucevic. That time on the assist by Levine. And the Bulls lead by seven. To the paint. Here's Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Edwards moving that orange like a real pro. 
It's Williams with the drive and easy two points on the layup. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball, it's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. No one near Conley as he lets it go. No good on the triple. White against Edwards. White, good. And love the commitment from White. He took the bump, went up strong, and rewarded with two points. And so Chris Finch calls for the timeout. Clearly, he's got something his players need to hear. And immediately. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Edwards. Rebound by Williams. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. Pass to Levine. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's Vucevic. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Edwards passes to McDaniels. And stolen by Giddy. White with it. Conley picks him up. White. Good. And now an 11-point Chicago lead. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Bulls. I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And that next meeting will be their second and final game of the season series, being in opposite conference. So you bet nobody wants to get swept in a two-game season series. I think the next game will be hotly contested. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats, just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Josh Giddy. And you have to love the effort he put forth on the glass. He played with the fire no one else could match as he chased down those rebounds. Six-second difference between shot and game clock. Shot's good by Alexander Walker. And so... choose to intentionally foul. Mike Conley, first personal foul, second team foul. And the first of two, no good, heartbreaker. So he can't get either to fall. Minnesota calls timeout. They're behind by six. What do you think we're going to see coming out of this timeout? Still a sliver of hope. Yeah, but they've got to score and then foul immediately. And the Timberwolves with possession. Six-point game. Trains it from downtown. At every level, Edwards has been the go-to guy for his team. It's in his DNA. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game. Exactly. I mean, you got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. No good at the strike this time. The second misses also. Ouch. Boy, was that painful. That was basically just a choke job. I hate to say it. Could have put this game on ice, but he didn't. And now they foul and stop the clock. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. They didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. That ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those freebies. Edwards from deep three-point territory. Can't get it to fall. 
So the Bulls win it. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Zach. Some big baskets for you down the stretch. What's it like when you have the ball in your hands in those moments? Oh, it was great. I'm not scared to take or miss any shot, you know, and, uh, you know, I'll go down there swinging every time. Well, you connected at the right time tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And as we leave you, we give you our player of the game, Josh Giddy.